word praise God father in the name of Jesus we thank you for this word we pray that you would bless the people father let the word be quick and powerful and sharper than any two its sword let it pierce wherever it needs to pierce the heart and the soul and dividing of the intents and the joints and the marrow father we just give you praises and we give you glory in Jesus' name we're going to begin with Matthew the 12th chapter Amen. Now I'm going to read from the Amplified version. When the now when the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, it roams through waterless, dry, arid places in search of rest, but it does not find find it. Okay. What is dry places? I mean, I would hear this scripture being quoted in the church. And, and it would just, you know, I, I just was kind of puzzled with the definition because they would tell me, they would always say, we buy in this spirit and we send it to the dry places. I said, Lord, what is a dry place? I was a young Christian, so I didn't know what that was, but I was really very curious. And um, I would ask a lot of times the leaders questions and they didn't know. They, you know, they did the best they could. They didn't know what that meant. And so they would try to define it to me in the best way they could. But the Bible says, all thy getting, get understanding, get wisdom, get understanding. Praise God. So it's good to get understanding when we are learning the word of God, to ask the one who created the word, which was God. Amen. God created the word. So therefore he would know the best. He would know what it meant. So, so I was really, really curious. So he gave me a definition what the dry places was. And this is what he gave me. And I wrote this in my book, praise God. Amen. He told me to write a book, praise God. So I did write the book. And, you know, I'm just going to read a little bit from my book. The dictionary of the thoughts defines dry as waterless, devoid, deficient in moisture, arid, barren, and ungarnished. Okay, but dry places is a little bit more than that. Amen. It's a little bit, defines a little bit more than that because... God, God gave me the definition of what a dry place is. Because if the dry place was that, you know, when, when Jesus saw the man that had, um, was demon possessed. Amen. It was a man that was demon possessed and um, he was crying out and he was saying to Jesus, uh, you know, called him out by his name, by being the son of God. Are you going to send us to the place before the time? And then, then the spirits the spirits that was inside of the man, I believe it was a legion of demons that was inside the man. He said, send us to the dry places. Excuse me, that's it. Excuse me, excuse me. Send us to the pigs that we may go therein. Okay? And they recognized why. Because pigs are unclean. They're unholy. Otherwise, they, you know, you know, it has, in order for um, them to be able to eat anything, what they call in the, in the Bible, biblical days, called kosher they had to be they had to split the hood they had to chew the cup so i believe that pig swine did split the hooves but they did they did not chew the cup they were unclean they were unkosher so in in the word of god in the in levitical law amen the people of god they knew what they could eat and what they couldn't eat and jesus also he knew the levitical levitical law because he was brought up under his teaching from his parents and but the thing about it, demons also know the Levitical law. They know what you have permission to do and what you ha don't have permission. They know about the Levitical law because they know about the chewing of the cub. They know about the um, the split hooves. So therefore, they said right away when G when they was asking because they knew Jesus wanted to cast the demons out of the um, the man so he can be, become delivered because the Spirit of the Lord was upon him because he's a, the Lord Jesus has anointed him to set the captives free according to Isaiah, the 61st chapter. Amen? So, so he said, send us to the swine that we may go therein. Amen? So those spirits, amen, they entered, they had permission, and Jesus said yes. So the spirits entered into the swine. But the ultimate purpose was not to um, just to go into swine, but was to go into the swine so they can go into the water. Okay? See, when you look at the scripture, dry places, dry places has nothing really to do with water. Dry places, the Lord gave you definitions, is any molecular, lifeless, non-breathing, non-living, Temporary instrument, device, object, or substance that, it, that demons can travel through 
to get to a permanent host body. See, the devil wants... Ultimately, he doesn't care really much. He wants he wants to get to a human body. He wants to get to a body that is living. It doesn't matter whether it's human or whether it's animal. A solid liquid or gas can be a dry places. Even though the water is wet in a natural sense, but in a spiritual sense, it is it is it is a um, it falls under description about being a dry place because it is a place where spirits can lodge and where they can um a vessel or vehicle it can get to a body. See, the demons wanted to go to the water because they wanted to be in a territory. They wanted to remain in that particular territory. And at the same time, they knew that they could be, that there was a dry place. It's, a, it's an instrument that they can dwell there in, that they can uh, migrate around to get to a human. He, he knew that uh, people go to the water. You know what I'm saying? Fish are in the water. Amen. Different things go inside of the water. So it wasn't even about the pigs. It wasn't even just about the water. It was about the dry places to get to a human body. Those spirits wanted to go into someone else. And the reason why they wanted to go into someone else. Because they wanted to be able to express. Amen. And um, dry places. Like I said. There's a temporary dwelling place. They, the, it, demons want to go someplace. Where they can be able to be instruments to be used. To, for expression, so they can do the bidding that they have for, that came straight from the pit of hell. The assignments they had received from Satan, so they can be able to do what they were assigned to do. But Jesus canceled that assignment on that man. Amen. Praise God. So, oh, look at dry places. Dry places are temporary dwelling places. Amen. For unclean spirits. So, dry place can be. This piece of paper, dry place can be money, currency, amen. Dry place can be that clock right there because spirits can lodge in anything that is tangible. They want, they need a vehicle. When you go into when I and I'm careful when I go into um, thrift stores because when you go in thrift stores, you have people. The donated things that those spirits have lodged in that particular item, especially in furniture like bedding. Um, if you have a bed and the person has a bed in their home and the person has spirits on them and, and then you go by that bed. And not only insects can be in the bed, but also spirits can lodge in the bed because that spirit that was the spirits that was on that person. Will transfer into what will become a part of that bed. It will be in inside of the substance substance of that mattress. And if you buy that mattress and you bring it home, then if you go to sleep, then those spirits are still in the in the furniture. I remember one day I had bought. Um, my husband used to love buying furniture from thrift stores. He used to love buying. Um, he had a thrift store in Charlotte. And he used to um, have a lot of furniture. He had um, bedroom sets. He had mattresses. And I remember he had bought some. He had a he bought a mattress, you know, home when we was moved, we had moved to Mount Holly, and we had he had put the mattress inside one of the rooms, and we had went to sleep on that mattress. And I went to sleep, and I had a dream about somebody murdering somebody. I said, I don't know what was going on. I was having a nightmare, but somebody had murdered somebody and I just couldn't sleep. It was a troubling in my spirit. And then it was a troubling because whoever had that mattress, they were doing some ungodly things. And they were doing some things that were not pleasing. And they might even murder somebody. And sometimes I will go inside of thrift stores and you don't even necessarily have to be in a thrift store. You can be in a regular store. Somebody can buy something and they change their warrant and they take it back to the store. And if there's spirits that were on that individual, guess what? The spirits are on in that in the clothing because it's a transfer took place inside of the clothing. And the Lord gave me this revelation knowledge in 19. 90 something and the people I would talk tell people about stuff like that. They said she's crazy and I was talking about transfer spirits Back in the 80s. I was talking about transfer spirits and people would tell me 
you know, that's crazy. You know, you're crazy. No, 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 no. Spirits are real. Cause, because see, even when the people of God were offering up sacrifices in, you know, the Levitical law, there was a transference taking place in that animal. This, the sins that were in the um, individual, the, you know, the, the people that were placed inside of the lamb. Amen. So there was a sacrifice. There was an exchange of whatever was in the person inside of that lamb. Amen. And the lamb was sacrificed for the sin. The same thing. God, the, our father, amen, sent his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And he sent his son to be a sacrificial offering for us all. Amen. To, 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 to apply the sins of the world on him. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed that him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Praise God. So, like I'm saying, so dry places can be any, can be blank, can, can be a blanket, could be this pen. Amen. It could be anything. And dry places can also be metal. Amen. The airway is dry places. Amen. The molecules in the airway. Satan is the prince of the power of the airway. And see, you can be on the telephone. Amen. You can be on the telephone. You could be on the, um, let me see, let me use this here, for example. You could be on your iPad, on your, on your telephone. And see, airway. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. And see, before we had these telephones and these gadgets, we had the regular landline telephone. Amen. And see, a person could be in California. And you can talk to somebody in New York City. And those spirits, because of the airway and because of the wiring, spirits transfer through the wiring. To, and it doesn't take that long to get to the individual. Amen. So they need a channel to get to an individual. So God was showing me how you can talk, you be careful how you talk on the phone too long. If you if you're on the telephone, you feel some ungodly things. Get off the phone because the enemy is looking for. He said he's going by to, to dry, arid places to look for a body. He's trying to find a body. Amen. For expression, he's trying to find a body so he can be able to continue what he's his assignment. Amen. And so let me read also in the the book of Acts. Praise God. How also, even though in the um. Let me talk about the books of uh, Acts 9th chapter. And see, and God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul, so that with his body were wrought into the sick handkerchiefs or aprons or diseases parted from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. If you can transfer blessings through aprons and through handkerchiefs, then spirits can also transfer through these same objects. Amen. Curses and other things. Um... Let me also look at this here. How um, Pharaoh, let's look at the book of Exodus. Amen. Rod, talks about rods and staffs. Exodus, the seventh chapter, the 11 through the 12th verse. Now, Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now, magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast out every man his rod and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. So spirits were transferred into these rods. You know what I'm saying? So those spirits, these magicians, they knew they was on a higher level of, you know, you know, the occultic things because actually having a a, a pole or a stick turning into a, 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 a snake or serpent. And how God was showing me how spirits love to lodge into things. And even this is a this is a regular thing that I have a decoration. But it is also an instrument. Amen. S spirits want to lodge in people. But they will settle for an animal. Because animals are human. Excuse me. Animal, excuse me. Getting a little nervous. Animals are alive. But they want expression. So we have to just be mindful. Praise God. Amen. God, And that's my teaching on concerning the dry places that God gave me years ago. God bless you. Have a great day in Jesus. Amen. Love you with the love of Jesus. Amen.